Hi guys, today we're going to be drawing this really cute box sitting in a tree and this has a cute um, flower band just around its ears and it's so cute. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so let's start with the eyes and the beak. So firstly you're just going to draw two sort of middle-ish side circles, quite small, and just two lines on the side. Um, and then just do a little circle inside and scribble around that to try and cover it and a triangle pointing down. So make sure you don't go in the lines, just try and go sketch around it and make sure your beak is pointing downwards because that just gives it the cute effect. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how cool this is. So all this is is that and it's like a bit of eye shine which is very cute. And of course you can add eye, eye shadow like or whatever, but that's totally optional. So let's just carry on. Then you have to do an M, say an so M. So an M on the top, a bit like Mo Farah holding his hands. So then just curve round so it sort of looks like a heart but without a point, if I show you. So it looks a bit just like a heart without a point now, so... That's all you've got to do for now. And then, now let's do the outside of the head and the flower headband. So this sort of looks like a bit of hair behind, but um, now the it's headband. So now the headband is just like a few little clouds sitting on the top of the head. They're just small and they look like flowers. Of course, you can do yellow in the middle, but it's your choice, so... You don't need to rush these, they're just simple little scribbly lines shaped into a circle. And then you might want to add the ears just between, and this is how it looks. So it just has a few flowers over the top and the most eye shine. Then, like I said earlier, you do the ears, just, just random ears, and then put the nice body you do so leave a little gap inside just to make it look like a little tummy of course you can do a belly button but that's optional as well okay now we're going to do the legs and the wings so the legs are little stick legs they're very cute but you might want to do them a bit curved just because it looks cuter um and then for the wings again you're going to do something simple. That's one wing. Just looks like that, it's one wing. very cute. Cute little legs, and that's how it's looking so far. And then you're going to do the other wing. So just copy the wing that you've already done, and these are so simple, and they're quite easy to colour in, I guess. Yep, for colouring in, we'll tell you what you might want to use, and then... Finally, you might want to do the tail. So this isn't exactly the best drawing, but it's all right. So there we have it. Cute little tail, everything you need. And now for some extra decoration, you might want to have some cute cheeks. So um, the cartoon style is sort of just like a red scribble. And you also might want to do if it's a girl, you might want to do this. Yeah, just a something few cute. Little eyelashes, if you know what I mean. So, we're going to go ahead and just quickly do the cheeks. So, basically, I'm just doing a little red few scribble dashies just to sort of make it look cute. And that's the eyelashes, and they're just so cute. There we go, it looks adorable. So, I think it's time to colour in. Time to colour in. We're going to do this really quick, really super duper quick. So, if you want, you can carry on drawing if we were a bit too fast for you. But And also, the tree is totally optional. We just um, added it, and we're just going to show you the tree at the very end, just to like, show you how to draw it and everything. It's totally optional, though. You can just do a play now sitting where, wherever. Yeah, you could do him sitting at a work office or anywhere. 
you want. It's completely your choice. And if you want to do anything other, any, add anything else to the picture, do the wings different, your option. So, so um, the colour we've gone for is a Sharpie. Sharpies are amazing pens. But although they do come out the back, so you might want to lean on some other paper if you want. The brown is sort of darkish, but that's the colour we like. And we're going to do a light pencil -y brown, just for the tummy and back face. The ears we're going to do the Sharpie colour, and the tail will do the pencil. So, let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to do, we're going to do the body, the wings, the ears, the tail, all nice colours. Right, so this brown is quite dark, just, so I'm just going to quickly sketch around the tummy and today we aren't going to do a belly button, so probably do it on our next drawing though. So, as you can see, we've added a lot of things to it, and it looks pretty cool, so, yeah, it's looking amazing. So, this is how it's looking, and we're going to go ahead and colour in the headband now, and we're just going to do that Sharpie pink, so, we'll do that once we've done the tail. Okay, so yep, and totally your choice, you don't have to do out a Sharpie colour. You can do it any colour you like. Okay, so this is the Sharpie colour we've gone to. Just a nice little colour that we're going to use there. Okay. It's very pretty. So if you want to use it, go ahead. Just finishing off the wing. This is so cute and I would recommend doing like just little things. And then we can move on it. to the... We can move on to the headband once we've finished all of this and we can, it will look amazing at the end and you'll be really proud of yourself and yeah, it will look awesome. So now I'm starting to do this headband and I'm just sort of sketching in the gaps here like a cloud and this will go out of the lines but those are only sketchy lines so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. As you can see, I'm sort of scribbling it. That's just to give it the nice flower effect, sort of. And it makes it a little bit bumpy, which is cool. So, and cute. So, we, there you go. We pretty much have it now. But now we're just going to do the face. And I think we might go for... We're going to go for the pencil brown yeah. colour. Because that will look amazing. So now we're just doing the little feet. And I'll go ahead and do that. So we've just got a cute little owl in here, so cute. Okay, so now we're going to do an orange beak, just to give it that nice texture. And then we're going to do the brown. a lovely brown tummy here. And then a lovely pencil colour. And my pencil is very blunt this time. That's because I want this sort of light effect so it doesn't come up so much. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And it will look really cute at the end. And then you can show your parents and say, look what I drew. And they'll be so proud of you. And then one day you'll become your own artist. Okay, so I've done the face now. So now it's time I show you the picture close up. Okay guys, so this is the picture and this is really cool right now. Check this out. So this is um, really nice looking. We've got the little flower headband. We've got everything we want. So um, the tree is totally optional. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the first picture that we did. So this is how it looks and it's pretty cute. If you sort of compare the owls, they look alike. It's funny. And there's the trees, so 
thank you guys so much for watching and I'm going to thank my brother Teddy for helping with the camera. So goodbye.